I have made a programmable switch with an Arduino. You can send its QP commands and based on what commands you send, it will either switch on or off two relays. At this moment it's just switching on and off LEDs, but that's not the purpose of this design. It's meant to be part of an automated lab setup, so you can switch in or switch out signals based on the lab view flow. And to be able to do that in a simple way, I have developed a lab view library for this device. What you see here on my screen is the library in action. This is a lab view block that controls uh, whether you switch on or off the relays. Uh, this is a lab view block that reads the status. And this is an example project. It has a loop that will turn on and off the relay in a given frequency. You put that frequency here in this field and it will also read the output status. So what we can do now is decrease that frequency and say that it has to switch every second. So I put 1000 here and when I do enter, you will see that everything goes faster. I can also put half a second and that will change it even more. And I can change the channel and then the second relay will be controlled. Let's have a look at the flow. At the start we configure the serial communication with the Arduino. Then I've put a two second delay because when you start a communication with an Arduino it does a hardware reset and you cannot send commands or read results from its serial port. After that reset I initialize the Arduino and that's a block that I've made specific for this project. Let's double click on it and look at its flow. It doesn't do a lot. It reads the settings that you have put uh, for the serial communication. And then we send the IDN skippy command to the Arduino. And we compare that what that command answers is what we're expecting so that we know that we are talking to our Arduino switch. When initialization is done, we go into our loop. This is the loop here. And it will run until you press this stop button or if something goes wrong with the Arduino. At the beginning of each loop we will toggle between true or false and send that information to the Arduino. Uh, for that I've made a control block. Let's have a look at that flow. It will send either the on or the off command via Scuppy to the Arduino and then uh, the Arduino reacts on that and will turn the output on or off. Once that's done, we read the status back. Again, a block that I've written for this library. Let's have a look at that flow. You say which channel it has to read. It sends a digital switch question mark command. So that's retrieving the status of the switch. Uh, it reads the results and compares that to the sentence on. If the Arduino replies with on, we will switch on this indicator here. And it's not only usable as a visible indicator, it's also a programming element, which I can show when the flow is stopped. And let's stop it now. You will see that this LED is connected to this terminal so you can use it in a program as output. So let's see in real life what happens if I change a few parameters. I'm going to set the weight between two clicks from 2 seconds to 250 milliseconds. You see that uh, the frequency of the LED increases and I'll now switch channel and it's the other LED that is switching. So I can fully control the behavior here via LabVIEW and that was the goal of my project.